race eight at DuCoin. Horses coming onto the track, led by our outrider, Sonny Dodd of Monticello, Illinois. Win, play, show, exact, a wagering, no trifecta. An elimination of the first lady, two-year-old Philly Price uh, for Illinois Breads. Top five are guaranteed a spot in the $50,000 final as part of Saturday's World Trotting Derby undercard. Post time Saturday, 12 noon. No scratches, no driver changes, less than five minutes till post. Let's meet the starters for race eight. Number one, Lexus Graham is owned by Buzzy and Shelley Graham of Salem, trained by Buzzy Graham. Tim Tietrich is the driver. Two, Friday the 13th, owned by George Bonomo and Jim Mead of Chicago and Morris, Illinois, trained by Rick Schrock, the driver, Dave McGee. Number three is unbeaten Ari's Conquest, the Illinois State Fair Philly Pace champion, owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is up. Number four, the sleazy one, is owned by Marty Engel of Buffalo Grove, trained by Ken Rucker. And Michael Osting will be the driver, folks. Michael Osting on number four, the sleazy one. Number five, Apple Betty, is owned by ECS Racing, Limited Liability Corporation of Rockford, Michigan, by Sutton's Bay Racing of Ada, Michigan, trained by Joe Seekman, the driver, Dale Heitman. Six, Prissy Lady, owned by Jack Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana. Shirley Marks of Chicago, Irv Miller of Springfield, trained by Irv Miller. Tony Morgan in the bike. And seven is Fox Valley Michaela, owned by Bruce Alexander, of Westfield, Wisconsin, by Dean Alexander, and by Bonnie Neal Hutchison, Jr. of Warrenville, and Homer Hochstetler of Crete, Illinois, trained by Homer Hochstetler, and Homer is in the bike. Again, Michael Osting will be the driver of number four, the sleazy one. Osting on number four, post time in only three minutes. They are off and pacing. Apple Betty goes out for the lead. Ari's Conquest is right there with her, however. Then Lexus Graham down toward the inside. And Ari's Conquest is up to get the lead. Ari's Conquest by a length. Apple Betty goes second around the outside of Lexus Graham in third. A gap of three lengths. Then back to Friday the 13th. The Sleazy One, Prissy Lady, and Fox Valley Michaela is last. They're single file. And it is nine lengths from front to back after an opening quarter in 28 seconds flat. And here comes Ari's Conquest up on the outside. Ari's Conquest gets the lead away from Apple Betty, followed by Lexus Graham, who is racing in the third position. She is three lengths from the front. A gap of nearly four more back to Friday the 13th. The sleazy one, Prissy Lady, and Fox Valley Michaela starts to move from last. Still some eight lengths off the leader. Ari's Conquest is on top by a length at the half. Apple Betty is right there in second. Lexus Graham is third, followed by Friday the 13th and 4th. They got the half in 57 and 2. Ari's Conquest leads it a length into the far turn. Apple Betty second by a length. Lexus Graham third, a half length. Friday the 13th moves up from fourth on her outside, just over two lengths off the lead. And then Fox Valley Michaela, who's five lengths from the front. Coming to the three-quarter, Ari's Conquest leads Apple Betty by a length and a half, followed by Lexus Graham. And here comes Lexus Graham off the rail from third. Now to challenge for second, but they've all got to get Ari's Conquest. Three-quarters and one, 27 and one. Ari's Conquest leads it a length and a half. Turning for home, Lexus Graham is second. Fox Valley Michaela up on the outside of Apple Betty to challenge for third. Then Prissy Lady, a wide fifth. Moving by the eighth pole, Ari's Conquest put to a drive, leads it by a length. Lexus Graham is second on the outside. Apple Betty, then Fox Valley Michaela. Ari's Conquest is just too much so far. And Ari's Conquest will hang on by a length to win it over Lexus Graham in second. Is close for third. Either Apple Betty or the sleazy one for third in 154 and one. In the winner's circle, folks, how about a hand for the unbeaten Philly, Ari's Conquest. Irvin and Andy Miller team up for another win. Ari's Conquest and Arts Conquest Philly owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms of Felton, Delaware. This is a homebred for the Cooleys out of their on-the-road-again mare round again. Result is official, 3-1 exact to $29 even. Let's talk to Irvin Miller in the winner's circle, our winning trainer. Irv, we spoke with you about this filly when she won the State Fair final a couple of weeks ago. 
She's a real handy filly on the half-mile tracks. We saw that on the fair circuit, but she doesn't really mind stepping up to a big track either, does she? Yeah, that's what Andy said about her. She's real handy out here, too. Now, looking ahead, you've got a big week coming up here, and I know you've also been very busy with a trotting filly named Uncommon Sense. You took her to Chicago for the American National. She was fourth on Saturday night. And not to put you on the spot, but I guess we are. Have you made up a mind one way or the other which way that filly is going to go here at DuCoin this week? Will she go to the Philly World Trotting Derby? Uh, I just shipped her down today. I'm going to jog her tomorrow morning and then decide. Well, Irv, I'll tell you what. If you decide to put that filly in the Philly World Trotting Derby, I know the Illinois folks always like to back those Illinois breads. But either way, best of luck and congratulations on your most recent win. Thank you. Another hand, folks, for our winning trainer, Irvin Miller. More in a moment. <laughs> 